Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back, everyone. welcome back. Today we are receiving more data coming out from the market. A lot of concern are growing as inflation continues to rise. And just recently, our core CPI data was released this morning at 8.30 a.m. And the data release showing that inflation continued to rise despite the Federal Reserve trying to tame inflation by raising another 75 basis point, which is very likely this September meeting. And investors are very worried of the Fed pushing the U.S. economy into a recession. And we have seen how negative it is. Let's look here. The NFIB Small Business Index increased by 1.3%. Our Consumer Price Index increased by 0.1%. Our core CPI data increased by 0.6%. Our CPI data from a year on year increased by 0.3%. And our core CPI data year on year increased by 6.3%. What are we seeing? Inflation continues to rise as the Federal Reserve tries to tame inflation. And inflation is not slowing down. It's not slowing down. And economics are very worried about the Federal Reserve pushing the U.S. economy into a recession. And once we enter a real recession, it is going to be a financial uh, pothole for the Reserve, Federal Reserve trying to recover the U.S. economy. So things are not looking good, folks, as we say concern continue to mount and inflation is not slowing down. Let's look at our critical stock future index we have from our their industrial down more than 2.73%, dropped more than 880 points here. We have our US 500 dropped more than 128 points, which represents around 3.12% decrease. Our NASDAQ is down by 4.25%. So things are not looking good from across the board. Let's look at the European market even down. This is a major problem, folks. Let's look here. It's just a major problem. Germany, France, Britain, European Union, Italy, Switzerland. So there's all a lot of country here that is observing a negative market. Well, let's look at the Asian market. We have Hong Kong, we have Tokyo, we have Brazil. We have China, we have Australia, we have Singapore, we have India. And we have South Africa and Germany. So the majority across the global market it's there, it's there. It's all on red. Red, red, folks. So, a lot of people are predicting the probability of the Federal Reserve raising another 75 basis point. Which is very likely, folks. Inflation is not slowing down. And the Federal Reserve has signaled to the American people that they will not stop unless inflation slows down. And many economics are predicting for another 75 basis point. We have been talking about this for a while now. And it has been very clear that the Federal Reserve is not backing down or slowing down from raising another three-quarter percentage point. <clears throat> and what they all want to see is that until they see convincing evidence that core inflation pressure is easing. However, inflation has not eased. And we have seen inflation continue to rise. Right now, this is just the beginning for when core inflation rose more than 0.6% in August. And this is just the beginning of high interest rate, and we are preparing our mindset for this. We are preparing our mindset for this, especially with the Federal Reserve. They are not backing down, folks. They are not backing down. What else are we talking about? So, with this latest data, core CPI data, we have found that rise in foods and housing costs actually push inflation higher, despite energy continuing to decline. The cost for gasoline and energy declined, folks. But on the other hand, though, food and rent price are continuing to rise. Especially with the housing market, we are now hearing of economic uh, predicting or sensing a possibility of a housing recession. But things are not slowing down. Even mortgage rate reaching near 6% for a 30-year mortgage. So things are not looking good, folks. Things are not looking good. <clears throat> and inflation continues to soar to its high level in 40 years. And inflation has not slowed down. With our latest data, however, we have seen the gasoline index drop more than 10.6%. 
Cost for housing, medical care, new car, and household furniture were all up compared to the month before. And people are, are feeling the pain of uh, inflation. And the biggest problem, higher cost for food, grocery, and everything in between. It's a problem for, in the Federal Reserve, it's saying, hey, prepare for more interest rate and prepare for more financial pain ahead. Which the Federal Reserve has signaled a, for a couple weeks earlier. And we are preparing our mindset for this one. Let's move forward. Mayor Eric Adams just say, hey, the city of New York is facing an inflation crisis. And they are planning to cut 3% of their budget from their uh, multiple agency across inflation rate continue to rise and looming recession concern in New York City and they are planning to cut NYPD budget too due to inflation folk we have talked about this inflation has become a very problematic situation for the American people across the United States and across the global economy and Mayor Eric Adam on Monday our order our agency to cut 3% due to stock market loss, elevated inflation, and the potential for a devastating recession. And he told to the mayor office of management and budget, hey, prepare to cut something because inflation concerns are rising. Things are not looking good across the board. Let's look forward. So with high interest rate, tech sector has faced a significant battle with the Federal Reserve. We have seen high profile layoff at Snap, Netflix, and other major companies. So a lot of stuff are coming out as people are trying to find ways to minimize their spending across a looming economy that's showing no sign of slowing down. Snap layoffs 20% of their workforce. We are talking about the crypto market too, Robinhood. So a lot of major well-known tech institutions are continuing to lay off. And this is just a beginning as the Federal Reserve continues to raise interest rate in order to cool consumer demand. And people are preparing for this, even though if an employee had added more than 315,000 jobs in August. However, unemployment rate rose to 3.7 percent last month so there are a lot of conflicting data coming out from the market raising a lot of fear and doubt with the u.s economy so there are no guarantee of whether or not we are entering a bear market but however we are sensing that a bear market is coming and we are preparing our mindset for this last but not least major major banking institution known to be at goldman Sachs. They are planning to lay off hundreds of jobs next week, folks. This is just a beginning of how inflation hurt. Hurt many businesses across the banking industry. And Goldman said it's our latest well-known institution that say, hey, we cannot bear the cost of rising labor. And rising inflation has hurt our business model. And in response, we are continuing to cut jobs. Okay, folks, in the end of what are my thoughts, the crypto market and the stock market will continue to face an uphill battle with the Federal Reserve, and we are going to continue to see more downturn as the Federal Reserve continue to raise up their interest rate, and we are preparing for the worst of the worst. I think could progress and even eventually lead us into a recession. So beware, folks, things are not looking good as of right now. Thank you, one. Have a nice day.